In this episode, you are going to learn how to set up Facebook Pixel Parses event for Shopify Web Store using Google Tag Manager. Hi, this is Nasim from nasimrezer.com and I am a top rated freelancer on Upwork. If you need my assist, don't forget to check this video description because I will give all the resources link out there. Let's back to this topic. You can see this is our demo Shopify website. Okay, and we are going to set up the Parses event using Google Tag Manager for Facebook Pixel and you can see that I already make a few event and if you want to see that or learn that you can visit my YouTube channel which is Nasim Reza and you can see my few previous video on there but also you can see on the playlist of my YouTube channel which is Shopify tracking solution okay so if you watch that video series from beginning then you can learn everything if you are complete beginner okay okay now let's back to this topic simply we need to make the purchase event so for making purchase event we are going to preview mode first okay because we need to check the parses event are already firing on data layer or not so that's why go to connect and you can see the tag assistant is connected to google tag manager just simply order a product from here this is add to cart and you can see all the event are working so you can learn it from that video so then check out and now it's quickly input a dummy information and that's it 26 just it's a demo order okay so you can see the order is triple one I guess is card number oh, oh. so yeah it's only one and now it's fired so we are on the thank you page of complete order section and if I go back the tag assistant you can see our purchase event is here so that mean our parsers event are in our data layer and if I check the event you can see the customer name also here and the customer address and the most important thing the e-commerce purchase information so this actually the important things for this event okay so let's configure the tag right now go to google tag manager and make a new tag hit tag configuration and then select facebook pixel that from facebook archive if you don't see the pixels template here just go on the discover more tag types community templates and add the facebook pixel template you just need to search facebook pixel then you will see it so i already did just select it and here you need to input your facebook pixel id just copy from your facebook pixel data sets or event manager that you will see your pixel and input it here we already make the constant variable with our facebook pixel id so constant variable actually we already inputted the pixel id on there and that we all we are selecting here so that means the facebook id with that okay and we need to select the standard event process so and then we need to select some parameter so parameter actually we need to send some information to facebook for product value so that means why product are selling 
like which product you are getting sales from your ads campaign so if you send that data on facebook then facebook pixel will try to optimize your ads again so you can use different kind of bait strategy so that's why we need to send couple of variable first of all i want to use content type and content name content ids value and then we need to send the currency also and then also important is to send the order id which is transaction so you will get the information on there which is yeah so if you want you can uh, also send tax and shipping it's up to you also send discount and coupon code but these six event are standard if you want you can add more but if you want you can keep these six content type always we are using product and content name we already make the data layer variable so that's why uh, it's product name so it's a data layer variable so if you don't know how to make that just select the data layer variable from here and go to your thank you page and use the plugin which is uh, it's a chrome extension which is data layer checker and then you will see this kind of value just you need to for example value just copy it and go back to here and send input the value and you can keep it's a product value sorry i have made a mistake so product value so now it's on the product value but it will be our content id okay so we can just change it from here and we can input the content ids here so content id we already made so i already show you how you can make so just i am quickly selecting the another data variables and order id we didn't have the order id so that's why we need to make another data layer variable i use this uh, plugin so we just need to capture the transaction id okay so transaction id oh is is order id discount just try to find i'm trying to find here yeah is the second one just make the another data layer variable and input the transaction id so don't for uh, don't worry about transaction id and order id it's actually the same so facebook call it's a order id but google or another platform uh, required it's a transaction id so always you need to follow the facebook documentation then you can understand everything so when your configuration look like this and you have done then we need to make the trigger okay so let's make a trigger just hit the plus and hit the custom event okay the so custom event in here and now simply copy the event name or type i just love to copy and paste and here and just give a name like this i always do prefer this format and you can see the trigger is ready and, and that already integrated with there and this is the tag name and that's it Save and done and our setup is now done so you can see all the e-commerce required facebook pixel event is now it's a pretty standard event that you can tell so you can copy and do for your own store okay so now it's time to test our purchase event 
let's go to open our web store and try to purchase on product so you can see our tag will fire like our all tag will fire so it's this tag are not fired yet so just hit the product page and complete one product purchase add to cart then view my checkout view cart and then checkout and input all the pro information and card number will be one and input any card it's a demo card information actually so let's hit the order now and it's being processed and it's a thank you page and you can see so a remove from cart and view item list and newsletter sign up it's not fired yet right so we didn't uh, remove any product from our cart and we didn't uh, view our product so that's why it's here so actually it's a catalog view and newsletter we didn't submit it so don't worry about that it actually our uh, purchase journey it was our purchase journey it's all the tag is fired and let's check the purchase event and here you can see the data is sending to facebook and also we can check out it through here which is you can see the page helper are saying the product purchase so order id currency content id so content name and content id all are showing here so that's mean it's uh, now look like good and our facebook pixels purchase event we are successfully done so if you need my help feel free to contact me that's all for today if you found this video was useful then hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more video from me then consider subscribing to this channel because it will help me to continue working on this channel my name is nasim and i will see you on the next video till then bye have a good day